Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about an event available into the game, connected to the Alliance, and really having a great amount of rewards for everyone, for yourself, as well as for the Alliance members. The event we're talking about today, called the Mechanic Maniac. It's basically the invading of the Mechanic Beasts to be attacking your Alliance member, yourself, as well as the others. And not only that, it's also going to be attacking the HQ building for the Alliance. There is a total of 20 waves of this event. We're gonna talk about each one of them and everything related to the event. So let's start it. Moving to the information. This event is controlled by the R5 and R4 members. So it's not a random time. You can just organize it by checking out all the time available for all the members and everything like that, you know, to be making a good timing for this event so everyone can participate, especially because collecting points gonna be helping you as well as an alliance to be getting more points because this one is based on ranking for you and all the other alliance members and all the alliance in the stat to be getting better rewards. For the rewards, it's based on collecting defender points and these points is possible to be collecting it by either defending your own pace, either reinforcing the other members' pace, as well as reinforcing the HQ. And there is a multiple rewards. We have in the personal ranking rewards, as well as the alliance ranking reward. The alliance ranking reward is going to be affected if member decided to be leaving the alliance. The points that this member have collected will be dedicated or removed from the total sum of the defender points for the line and then we have and this is the, how we are able to be collecting the defender points and then we have in the enemy waves like i said there is a 20 waves in total we have in wave 7 and wave 14 going to be the elite type of these beasts which are more difficult because elite beasts attack 15 random alliance members effective cooperation will be required you know, sending reinforcement to the one that is being targeted by these beasts because every member of the alliance have been two times of failing. If this member have failed to be defending this wave for two times, then he won't be targeted anymore. As well as for the HQ as well, if the members have failed to be defending the HQ one time, the event will be done. And the wave number 10 and wave 20 are the boss beasts which will be directly attacking the HQ for the Alliance. So when it's wave 10 and wave 20, we must send the reinforcement to the HQ to be able to keep it defending. Then this is the elimination rules. If you fail to defend your base two times, then you're going to be not targeted anymore by the Beast Horde. At the same time, when all the Alliance members have failed twice, like all of you then the event will be over when you fail to defend the hq against wave 10 and 20 the event is over as well so yeah it's basically all around defending and then going to the ranking reward the ranking reward like i said it's depending on the points you're gonna collect for yourself and the total for the line the alliance reward is based on the ranking over here you can see the alliance defender points as well as which rank your alliance in and then we have in the personal reward, which is this one, and the defender points reward. This is the one that we have collected for this round. You can just claim it because it's going to be giving you the alliance contribution as well as the light alloy to be using for commander equipments, which is really, really great. Look into the amount of it is really an amazing amount. Going to be helping you to be getting really strong faster. And even here as well, it's including the equipment blueprint. So basically, this event is focusing on the commander's equipment. Really important event to not be missing, especially because we know working on the equipment for ourselves is really tough sometimes. So it's better to be making sure you're going to be attending this event to be able to secure getting all the resources for this one. And in this icon over here, you can see which wave is the one that is coming now. Like, as for now, it's preparing for wave 19. And it's taken this period of time. Once it's done, like it's released, this is going to be the source of the piece. Then it, they will be starting to come out from here. And it will be directing to random members. You can check on this icon, which members is being targeted by this piece. So you can be go in there and send reinforce so yeah this is how everything related to the mechanics maniac how it works and what reward to be expecting from this one 
and all the rules. Make sure guys to be sharing with me in the comments what you're thinking about this event. It's really good event to be getting resources for the gears or not. And if you're not subscriber to the channel, make sure to be subscribing to it as it's really great help. See you always another Mecha Domination video. Till then, take care and enjoy your game.